Hello, welcome to this lesson in the chemistry tutor. We'll be working on some problems that deal with Charles's law here, so we'll get a feel for them. As you work through these, try to pick out the similarities between these different kinds of problems. Once you do enough of them, they all kind of start to read the same over and over again. So I'm hoping that you'll, you'll see that as we work these. First problem says a balloon has a volume of 154 milliliters at 99.8 degrees Celsius. What will the volume be if the temperature is then changed to 10 degrees Celsius. Assume the pressure is constant. So you see you're given a balloon, you know the volume of the balloon, and you know its temperature. Notice that the temperature is given to you in Celsius in the problem, but I want you to get in the habit, every time you see these temperatures in Celsius, you need to convert them to Kelvin straight away in order to use them in your calculations, okay? And then it says, what will the volume be, so you're solving for volume, if the temperature is changed to 10 degrees Celsius? So this is a problem that involves volumes and temperatures, and it's telling you that the pressure is constant. So you know it's Charles's law based on the variables that you're given. So the way I want to handle it is I always want to write down what I know because it just helps me visualize what I need to, 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 do, to do. So I know V1 is given to me in the problem. It's 154 milliliters, and then I've got some information about temperature, and then it says what will the volume be if blah, blah, blah. So you know V2 is what you're seeking. So I wouldn't put a question mark there. Okay? And then uh, for T1, it says uh, the balloon has an initial volume of 154 milliliters and 99.8 Celsius. But you know you don't want to use that Celsius. So the way I want you to do this is I want you to say T1, state 1, in Kelvin is going to be equal to um, T1 in Celsius plus 273.15. So basically you need to take the temperature in Celsius that you're given for state one. I'm putting the number ones here because we're dealing with state one here. And in Celsius, and you add it to 273.15. So basically what you're gonna have is 99.8 plus 273.15. And when you add these guys together, what you're gonna get is 372.95 Kelvin. This is T1K. Now I write the K here to remind me this is the Kelvin temperature of state one, 372.95. Basically all I did is I took the Celsius measurement we had, I added 273.15 to it, and then I get the Kelvin temperature in state one. Now we have to do exactly the same thing over here because it says what will the volume be if the temperature is now 10 degrees Celsius? So state, or temperature two, in Kelvin is going to be equal to temperature 2 in Celsius plus 273.15. And you'll get used to this number over and over again. It says 10 Celsius uh, here plus 273.15. And when you add these guys together, you'll get 283.15 Kelvin. This is the temperature of state 2 in Kelvin. So you see, without actually solving anything, I know I'm going to need these Kelvin temperatures. So up at the top, I now know volume 1 temperature 1, volume 2 is unknown, and I know temperature 2 and everything's already in Kelvin, and I have all of the math written right here converting everything to Kelvin. That way, if you make a mistake somewhere, your teacher can at least see that you knew how to convert to Kelvin, you at least knew that part, or maybe you made a mistake. What if you make a, a simple mistake converting to Kelvin, at least the teacher can then see what you did and give you maybe some partial credit. If you don't write any of this down, if you just start adding things and putting the Kelvin temperatures down, then nobody knows what you were doing. So now that you have everything there, we know we're going to use Charles's law, which is V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2, okay? So what you're going to have when you plug